So today is a BEA beautiful day here in Northeast Ohio, and I had so many plans today on working on that uh, back quarter acre and uh, getting some wood split up. You know, there's tons of stuff to do on a Saturday. Anyway, all of that changed because I'm so excited to announce that I am on my way right now to Pennsylvania, to Rural King in Pennsylvania, to pick up my new King Cutter XB48. Oh, I can't wait to use it. So, that's where I'm going right now. Let's go. So I ordered this thing on February 28th, and it is now June 4th. And they just got it in yesterday. So I'm here today to pick it up. That's how uh, backed up things still are. It's right in the center. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> All right. Everybody knows how exciting it is to get a new piece of equipment. It's awesome. New toys. All right, got it in the garage. Today's a rainy, rainy day, so this is the perfect uh, day to unbox this. I'm going to do a full setup on this because I was looking on YouTube um, to see what I needed to do to get this ready, and I didn't see any really good videos about preparing this for the tractor. So uh, we're just gonna go step by step and uh, get it ready to hook onto the tractor. All right, first thing we gotta do is cut these metal bands off of here. So. Got some uh, sheet metal shears, and I'm gonna put this towel over these because these are really tight. I don't want them springing up and hit me in the face. Well, that wasn't that bad. Just decided to put that kickstand down before I take the rest of this apart, keep this thing from falling over on its face. I wanna get it so it's sitting plumb. So this front face is uh, where it needs to be. I don't know if this kickstand will hold it. I suppose it's designed to hold it. It better. Nope, it doesn't hold it. Yeah, that's good. I don't know what patent they've got on that, but that's ridiculous. Gotta, gotta be strong. Oh, well, look at that. All right, so learn from my mistakes just get it on the flat concrete don't mess around with putting two by fours under it it doesn't even need the kickstand look at that kickstand's flip sitting up in the air and it's sitting exactly the way i wanted it oh. this is why i'm making this video because it's an honest video that shows you the struggles that i'm going through unboxing this so when you watch You'll know, just unbox the thing, get it down on the concrete where it's flat. All right, I'm gonna turn it so I can get the tractor lined up with it. A Couple of things I want you to be aware of is uh, King Cutter shipped it like this. See the paint marred off of it here and here, and then over here, that's gouged up a bit. You can actually hear the uh, forklift operator mention it. I've seen when we came with the truck yesterday, it was stuck there. Yeah. It's in the box, I don't know what it looks like. 
but that's how when King Cutter delivers stuff, that's how it is. Yeah. The manual for this thing is taped to the inside of the back cover or guard or flap or whatever you want to call it. Just so you know. It's funny, they say when you're unpacking it here in step two, uh, you may take the tiller off the crate, but you must swing the stand arm down and lock it into position. Snap stand out of clip, straight out, then swivel the stand down to locked position. There's no locked position at all for this thing. Um, and if it's on a level surface like this concrete, apparently you don't need it. Um, next step is to attach it to the tractor. Brought the tractor in and I've got my quick hitch on here. And uh, you know, it's kind of ironic or coincidental actually that uh, I just did that quick hitch video on how to make your implements fit your uh, Harbor Freight quick hitch, and this one isn't going to work because you kind of see here. Well, first of all, that hook's not going to fit up through there. And I know Tractor Time with Tim showed that I can put a different bushing on this, a thinner bushing, and that would probably squeeze up in there. But the bigger issue is the distance to that pin right there. See how low this cradle is? So that, uh, that's not gonna work. I'd have to take that top hook off and uh, remount it. And all of my other implements are already set up for this quick hitch the way it is. So that being said, I am going to remove the quick hitch and whenever I'm running the rototiller, I'm gonna attack it, attack it, I'm gonna attack it. I'm gonna attach it directly to the three point and not have the quick hitch on. So let's take the quick hitch off. It's really not that tough. I got this idea from tractor time with Tim. If you put your tractor in neutral, you could just pull it back if you're strong enough, and move it wherever you want to. Yeah, looks like I need to come back a couple more inches. So this is fun. I love stuff like this. Oh, so they put enough paint, I don't know if you can see it. They put enough paint on that pin. I can't, uh, I can't put the three point on it. It's just grows on the paint. So now I've got to take all that paint off of there. Just one more thing I got to do. It's ridiculous. Well, I was able to jam it on there, scrape enough paint on. I'm pushing it on there. Uh, another important thing, they do not supply you with any pins. I had that top link pin already, my, you know, just extra. And uh, I've got some of these left over. So they don't supply you with any pins. That's, that's an important, uh, important piece of information. Have extra pins. Shouldn't paint those. All right. Hey, look at that. All right, perfect. Next step is to install the back plate chain. I should mention it's probably a good idea to hook this unit directly to the three-point hitch without the slop of a uh, quick hitch. I just feel good about that. Just so you know where we are, we've got it attached to the tractor. We have no PTO shaft attached yet, and everything is put together the way it's supposed to be. So I suppose I can put that kickstand, that patented kickstand uh, back up. So I have never used the rear PTO on this tractor. This is the very first implement that would require it. Uh, but what I understand is it's a good idea to have your PTO set to the mid PTO only. Not there and not there. That way 
you can rotate this uh, PTO connection however you may need it when you're putting the um, PTO shaft on. I'm quickly coming to the realization that this is a long process. Make sure you leave yourself plenty of time. I'm just going through and reading. Um, and there's some grease circs that need greased. Uh, it'd be easier to grease them while they're off the tractor here. There's one right in here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Pull apart PTO shaft and attach outer section to the tractor PTO output shaft. Be sure to pull on PTO shaft section to ensure the yoke has locked into place. It is definitely locked into place. Place and hold the inner PTO shaft section next to outer section and check if PTO shaft is too, well, I know it's too long. Each section should end approximately three inches short of reaching the U-joint shield on the opposite section. This is super frustrating. You see that right there? Of course you see it. I'm holding you right next to it. They painted the uh, spline or whatever. I don't know what you want to call that. The drive It's supposed to... Oh, it's ridiculous. Okay, I went ahead and slapped some more grease on that. Let's see if it helps any. Oh, I think we got it. A little grease. Doesn't hurt at all, that's for sure. Is it going to go all the way or is it going to get stuck? There we go, it's in. All right. All right, everybody, here's where we are. It is Friday evening, and uh, this video is supposed to air tomorrow morning. Try and get these up at uh, six o'clock every Saturday morning, just so you can count on it. Oh, so, in the meantime, from where the, that last video was, I really can't even remember. I think I was uh, trying to line this up and try and measure it. Yes, and I was gonna cut the PTO shaft. I went on Facebook uh, to a BX forum group that I have BX owners uh, group. And I asked on there because man, is that a good site, a good group. If you own a Kubota BX um, and you want information on everything about the Kubota, you know, try and join that uh, Kubota BX owners group on Facebook. Anyway, um, so <laughs> um, when I got on there, uh, long story short, uh, some of the guys let me know, they said, hey, if uh, you're not using a quick hitch, um, you really should consider maybe using Pat's quick hitch. And I thought, wow, Pat's quick hitch, and of course I watched some YouTube videos on it, it, uh, it'll fit just about any implement, really. There's, there's no, you know, it, it hooks to the bottom two pins and then you connect the top pin yourself. So the first way to measure this, let's just, now I've got the Pat's quick hitch on, uh, measurements are going to be different. The first way to measure this, this that I saw that was credible uh, was Tractor Time with Tim showed. You line this PTO shaft up and it's all the way contracted is what he called it and it's one inch away from the drive there, the rear PTO drive, okay? And then all you need to do then is measure right here from where you're going to hook this up and it'll tell you, I'll set that on the ground, it'll tell you how far you need to cut. So I'm gonna measure from this edge to this edge and that looks like approximately three inches. Okay, so I would have to cut three inches off of that. But the only issue I find with that is that's not the shortest distance that this will be. Uh, if I lifted this implement all the way up that would be the shortest possible 
and, and that could drive that shaft into the and break all kinds of stuff. So another way uh, I saw to do it was to measure, uh, this was everything attachments, uh, Travis. He measured from there out to where this would be, and then also measured from here to the edge and got a measurement. And it's almost like doing the same thing as what Tractor Time with Tim is doing. But once again, this is not at its shortest, uh, you know, distance between that drive and this drive. So I'm gonna set it up one more way and uh, we're gonna try it. This is uh, John Ritter on Ritter Bit Will Do, the way he did it. And I really like this because uh, it seems to be fail safe. You're not going to drive this PTO shaft through your tractor or break your implement. So let me get that set up. All right, here we go. You know, I don't have some kind of weird tractor. This is not, I mean, I don't know if they're making these things for other types of tractors or what. This is all the way out. Maybe that'll go out more. Hold on, no, oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah, wait a minute, I might have more. Make sure that's all the way. Okay, that is all the way out and it still doesn't reach. That's as far out as that top three point. And I guess, I don't know, yeah, you guys can see it. It won't reach it. So, and this is just sitting on the ground. So now I've got to rig it somehow to get this to tip forward. And maybe if I lower this, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, is it going to make it? Man, it's close. Yeah, all right. So, using the pads, because that adds about four inches, I think. I think that is, I can measure it for you. From where the pin is there. Yeah, that is four inches. Four inches right here. So that puts that all the way out fully. All right, now let's try and get it in position. All right, I've got the implement raised all the way up in the three point. And in his video, he showed, John Ritter's video, he showed to shorten this all the way. It, I was watching, it, shortening this does not make this gearbox get really any closer. But I'm gonna measure from the indent on the gear drive of the tiller. I need more. From the gear drive on the tiller to the indent on the drive on the tractor. If I can possibly, boy, that is not an easy thing to do. None of this has been an easy thing to do. None of it. And I don't know if I'm just not mechanically inclined or what. Looks like 28 inches to me. 28 inches. And then from that, he subtracted an inch and a half for uh, good measure or just to give it a little bit of play. So 28 inches minus an inch and a half is going to be 26 and a half. All right. Well, we are set up on our workbench over here. We've got the PTO shaft laid out. It's fully compressed. And we wanted 26 and a half inches from the indent to the indent. So this is 30 inches long. And we want to end up with 26 and a half. So that would be, we're going to take off three and a half inches. Approximately. So that's interesting because the tractor time with Tim way of doing it said we needed to take three inches off and this way says three and a half inches. Hmm. It's pretty close. Um, I'm going to take off the larger amount because I want to make sure that that's not going to compress enough to drive the shaft in too far and damage anything. So 
We're cutting three and a half inches off. Come on, get on there. There it goes. <laughs> All right, where's my seat? Oh, the King Cutter XB. I would have gladly paid, I don't know. I don't know, I'd pay 250 bucks probably for the pain in the butt that was to do all that. I got metal shavings all over me. I'm filthy, I need a shower. I learned a lot, I say that. You know, it'd be different, I did it again. Um, I hope I did the right thing. This Pat's Quick Hitch, seems like it'll work well. I do have to, they, they give you a stabilizer bar and this needs to be less than 21 inches to uh, hold these in the right place. And uh, I'm gonna have to cut some of that bar off to make it short enough so it works for this. But either way, it's on. Uh, I think this is the right length. <laughs> I hope it is. It should be. And um, I wish I could have run it for you on this video, but I'm certain you will see me running it for the first time on the side of the driveway. And then when I finish getting that back quarter acre cleared it will run it on that so anyway i got a tree job tomorrow so i gotta take this whole thing off and take the deck off and get ready to do it oh anyway maybe i'm doing too much stuff <laughs> oh guys uh, this is the struggle is real man you don't get any more honest than this but i will see you next time when i'm doing more stuff Whew.